Rockefeller University, and I'd like to begin by extending a warm welcome um, to all of you here this evening. It's a very nice occasion, and it's very good to see all of you here. We're gathered today to celebrate the fourth annual presentation of the Perlmeister Greengard Prize, an international award recognizing outstanding women in biomedical science. And I want to thank you for joining us for this. It's a splendid show of support for a prize that Paul Greengard and his wife Ursula, who are with us of course, and other generous friends of Rockefeller have helped to establish here at the university. And I just want to spend um, a minute or two giving you some background on this important award. As I'm sure many of you know, in 2000, Paul Greengarb was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine or Physiology for his crucial discoveries about the brain's biochemistry. Paul's many discoveries are pointing the way to better understanding of how the brain works and of a number of different neurological and psychiatric disorders. Paul and his wife Ursula donated his monetary share of that Nobel Prize to create this prize, the Pearl Meister Greengard Prize for Outstanding Women Scientists. It's Paul's passionate belief that women are not yet receiving awards and honors at a level commensurate with their achievements. And he was deter determined to use his new prominence as a Nobel laureate to address this issue. Thus, Paul and Ursula decided to establish um, a major international prize named in memory of Paul's mother, Pearl Meister Greengard, who died giving birth to him. This is awarded annually by the Rockefeller University, and the prize honors women whose achievements in biomedical research merit international recognition. By focusing attention on the accomplishments of women scientists, the prize seeks to increase the likelihood that they will receive further recognition and additional prizes, such as the Lasker Award, often known as the American Nobel, and the Nobel Prize itself. When others learned of Paul's and Ursula's wonderful idea, a number of Rockefeller's most dedicated supporters came forward to contribute to the endowment of this new prize. Well, tonight, we gather to award the 2007 prize and to celebrate the achievements of Drs. Gail Martin, Elizabeth Robertson, and Beatrice Mintz. Dr. Mintz unfortunately could not be with us tonight, but she's expressed to Dr. Greengard how honored she was to be selected. Now, a bit later, we will have an opportunity to learn more about these three scientists' remarkable um, accomplishments from Rockefeller professor, Dr. Corrie Bargman. And she will be speaking on behalf of the selection committee. I should like to recognize and thank Corrie and all the members of the selection committee um, who um, participated in the prize, many of whom are with us this evening. Um, on the committee, we have a number of very distinguished scientists. Our group is chaired by President Emeritus Torsten Wiesel. In addition to Torsten and Corrie herself, uh, the committee includes Richard Axel of Columbia University, Rockefeller professors Gunther Blobel and Tishia de Lange, Joe Goldstein, who is a Rockefeller trustee, David Sapatini of NYU is a Rockefeller alumnus, Shirley Tillman, president of Princeton University, and Pippa Marek, who was recipient of the 2005 Pearlmeister Greengard Prize. And I also sit on the jury as well. And many of the jury are here with us this evening. Now, as again, I'm sure many of you know, we have a tradition of inviting exceptional women outside science to help present this prize. In previous years, we have had Sandra Day O'Connor, Helen Thomas, and Joan Didion, who have joined us to honor recipients. And tonight, we have the real pleasure of hearing from Martha Sharp Jakowski, a professor emerita of Old World Archaeology and Art at Brown University, who specializes in the study of the Middle East. I just want to say a few words about Martha before asking her to come up here. 
She's excavated at sites throughout the world and has spent the last 15 years directing the excavation and partial restoration of the great temple at Petra in Jordan. Though many of her peers thought that excavating the temple was rather difficult, she thought otherwise, and along with her team, took on the monumental task of mapping and raising the site from what I believe is a lot of rubble. Because of her effort, she has helped to turn Petra into a world-renowned site UNESCO has described as one of the most precious cultural property of man's cultural heritage. In 2007, it was named one of the new seven wonders of the world. She has published several books, including a complete manual of field archaeology, and in 2007, co-edited the book Breaking Ground, Pioneering Women Archaeologists. She's a former president of the Archaeological Institute of America and a trustee of the American University of Beirut in Lebanon. Dr. Joukowsky embodies a pioneering spirit and excellence in her field, two qualities we also identify with this prize. So we're very pleased she's taken time to be with us this evening. We thank her for that and for helping us to present this prize to other pioneering women. Please join me in welcoming Martha to the podium. Martha. 